there is nothing else to blame. There is only one victim in this case, and that is Martha. 25 years later, Thomas Mamoti admits he was responsible for the death of Martha Brailsford, but denies killing her, creating a quick and fiery response from parole board members. Why are you taking responsibility for a crime you're now telling us you did not commit? I have to. Maimoni was convicted of beating Brailsford on his boat, tying her to an anchor and dumping her overboard. But the now 71-year-old maintains his victim fell overboard after a wave hit his boat. Maimoni says he tried to resuscitate Brailsford, but never called for help and in a panic threw her body overboard. At what point in your head do you decide to put diving belts on her? entire to an anchor. This is the third time Mimoni is seeking parole, frustrated board members attacking the validity of his claims and pointing out that over the years, his story about the events of that day in 1991 have never been the same. This tangled mess that you have left of these incredulous, fantastical stories that are self-serving, insulting to the family, I don't know how you're going to undo them. Maimoni requesting to be released to the VA hospital in Providence for treatment. Martha Brailsford's husband wants him to remain in prison. Tom definitely should be in prison for the rest of his life, and I agree with the district attorney that uh, it would be really good if we could just not make this every five years. Brian Brailsford, the victim's husband, says that because Maimoni is eligible for parole every five years, so in five years he can be back here. That is something with which the family and friends of the victims say is simply too difficult to deal. Lavinatic, I'm Reed Lamberty, WCVB News Center 5.